What's up everyone? In this tutorial, we're gonna break down stage mapping. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your pixel map as well as input your pixel dimensions correctly. That way we can align our output with our stage. So first thing, let's go ahead and head over here to our output tab. And we're gonna open up our advanced output menu. And actually let's go ahead and kill this first layer here and I'm gonna show you guys how you can send a test card in Resolume. So again, head over here to your output tab. We're gonna click on show test card. And now you can see that we have a nice little test card to work with and we can slap that on the stage for reference. If you enjoy videos like these, we got a full classroom and it's way beyond what we got here on YouTube. Plugins, loops, insider tips and tricks from experienced VJs. Now, if you haven't yet, check us out. We got a week free trial and let's get back to your video. So hopefully we get something from the LED supplier that shows us exactly where those panels line up or at least the pixel dimensions or pixel count for each of those panels. And what I mean by that is a pixel map. So generally when you're working um, for bigger festivals or a larger scale production show, either the festival itself, the LED supplier or the house VJ will generally provide you with either a pixel map or an already created um, stage design setup within Rizloom. So if you're lucky enough and you do get something that's already uh, pre-made for you, you would just load the file here. So you'll go to this top left, drop down, you're gonna click on load and it should be an HTML file that you're given. So let's say if I load this one here, this is actually the stage that we're gonna be building out. Um, so yeah, if you're lucky enough to already have these slices created for you, that's awesome. But in most cases, that's not what you will be given. Generally, you'll be given something that looks like this. It's a pixel map, so you can either load it in your input or your output, but there's this load button here on the guide from the input we're going to load and i'm going to show you guys a pixel map example and so let's crank up the opacity here and let's kill this test card so generally you'll be given something that looks like this and these are going to be all the different panels that are being used for this particular led wall and i'm going to be dropping this as a resource file uh, below that way you can download it and you can follow along in this tutorial but Let's go ahead and hop into it and I'm going to show you guys how to manually create your slices that way we can map out our stage. There's a, a few things that we need to know and starting with the uh, dimensions here. So it might be a little bit confusing at first because if you click on this slice here and you look over we do have a few different parameters to input our values. We have an X, Y, left, top, width, and height. So your X and the Y, we're actually not going to touch that. The 0, 0 value is going to be your left and your top. And generally anything with a zero value, just keep it, just, it, it helped me to remember when first starting off that if you have a zero in one of the two values, that's going to be going in your left and your top, and the other is going to be your width and your height. So we will in fact leave X and Y alone. These first two numbers are your left and your top. So the reason why it's a, a zero, zero uh, value is because that's based on the pixel position, and the pixel position of a zero, zero is going to be at the very top left corner. So that is a value of zero, zero, and that's why we have zero, zero. That's where the slice is placed. All right, so in order to create this wing one slice, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a slice, we're gonna click on it, we already have this slice in use. As you can see, it has taken over this whole um, LED stage design, the pixel map, but we want it just on the wing one, so how do we do that? We can actually just type in our keyboard the values, so we're gonna do zero, space for the comma, zero, that's gonna be our left and our top. We're gonna to hit another space and for the width, we're just gonna copy 137 by 270. We're gonna hit enter. And as you can see here, that is going to accurately map it and snap it over this wing one. So we actually have our first piece of the LED wall created. So we wanna go ahead and just rename that. We're gonna name it wing one. It's always good to go ahead and rename your uh, your panels or your slices to match the panel. That way, if you are speaking with your LED tech, you guys can be using the same language. Now that we have our first one created, let's go ahead and create wing two. And so if you remember in the previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to duplicate a slice. We're just gonna hit control D. Now you can see that we create a second slice here and all we have to do is just move that over and it should snap right into place. So it's pretty easy when they are the exact same size. And another thing that's pretty easy here 
for this particular pixel map and stage we're actually lucky enough to where we can just uh, mirror these duplicates so instead of manually plugging in our values for wing 5 and wing 6 what we can do is we can just take this first slice here we are going to duplicate it control D and then we're going to right click it and you're just going to click on a mirror X and as you can see here that threw it completely over to the opposite side making it completely symmetrical with all the values so we can do that again with uh, wing 2 so we're just going to hit control D we're going to right click it mirror X now you can say, see that we easily just threw those over there without having to input all of those values but we do want to go ahead and make sure that these uh, wings are named correctly so we're going to change this to wing 5 and this one is going to be wing 6 all right so now we have the top four wings done let's head over here to our wing 3 and get this one created at the plus sign let's create a slice and we're just going to manually input these values again so we're going to do 0, space, 5, 40, space, 137 by 270. And hit enter, and it's going to snap perfectly over that, over that wing. Control D, I'm going to move it right over. So now, let's rename this to wing 3. And then... Wing four. And so instead of doing one at a time, we can actually duplicate those both at the same time to save us a little bit more time here. So select both of those slices, hit control D, it's going to duplicate two slices as you uh, just saw, and then we're going to right click it, mirror X, and we just threw both of those over at the same time. So there are some little tricks to help your workflow if your pixel map or your stage allows it. So that one's named right, wing seven, wing eight. And now we have all of our wings created for our stage. So now we just need the upstage and our DJ booth uh, mapped out. So let's create another slice and we're going to input the values for our main screen. So 274, zero, 1371 by 810. Let's just make sure that mapped correctly. It did. Looks like we have a little bit of discrepancy right here. Let's move that. And now we just need the fascia created. So let's create another slice. And we are going to 0, 810, 1920 by 270. All right, looks good. So as you can now see, we have the whole stage mapped out. And so let's go ahead and click back on this screen here and let's kill the pixel map. Now you can see that we have our stage, uh, our stage set. So if we head over here to our output transformation, you can see that it's, it's still just using the one slice. And if we select all the slices here like this, and we right click and we go to match input shape, now you can see that it took our input selection and the slice that we created there and completely mapped it out to match in our output. But this needs to actually be stretched over. So what we're going to do is we are going to take that over the full thing. And let's bring in some content to see what our stage looks like. Pretty sweet. So yeah, we have it set up. Once we have all of our slices created like we do here, Let's actually scale this down. That way uh, I can show you guys a little trick here. It's super useful. So let's say that we're working with an LED wall and these particular wings up here, they actually have gaps in between the panels on stage. So I'm going to show you an easy way to accurately move those around. That way our pixel positions line up um, symmetrically on the other side. So what we can do is we can take this left value. You can do math and resolume. Let's do like a plus 50 value. Now you can see that that actually created a little bit of a, of a gap. 
So if you are working with gapped panels on stage, you'd want to do it this way. And so let's just do it on the other side, except for on this side, we're actually going to subtract it. So we're going to do minus 50 since we used the value of 50 on the previous adjustment. And now you can see that we have it symmetrical on both sides without any pixels being off. So that is a good way to make sure that you're accurately creating your gaps if uh, that's how your stage looks. Yeah, if we pull this in, now you can see that we have a little bit of separation and, and gaps in the uh, on our stage. And this is actually what you will be outputting and what your stage will look like. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the stage mapping side. Now you know how to map out your, uh, your stages and get your pixel maps set up. In the next tutorial, we're going to be cover covering something called Slice Transform. And we're going to show you how you can like play around with each um, slice individually in Resolume and just some fun ways to map out your stage through the use of Slice Transform. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you need help with anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out. Do make sure that you go ahead and download that uh, pixel map file that we'll be providing below. That way you can uh, follow along with this video. But yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. As always, thanks for watching.